in the wiener if I needed to. Look how good you look in the morning. It's really not fair. Like, how do you look attractive? I look like a freaking monster in the morning. So yesterday in the vlog, I said I would to get ready with me, so that's what I'm doing. And the reason I have a blanket around my neck is because I'm not wearing a bra and I don't want you guys seeing my nip nips flopping around. So I'm gonna show them what I do when I put on my makeup in the morning in my bed. So the first thing I do is put on NARS. When I was on set for Haters Back Off, the makeup artist got me into It Cosmetics and this is the best brush in the world. I usually always used a beauty blender, but now I've used this to put on my foundation and it's amazing. You like barely have to use any foundation and it's super soft and I love it so much. <laughs> this is like my quick what I do for everyday life. So first I put on my foundation all over my face and then I put on some under eye concealer because my eyes are always puffy and swollen and disgusting. I think you look wonderful in the morning. When you start putting on makeup and you're only halfway through, you look a little scary. Ah! Okay, so now I'm putting on Laura Mercier. Oops, I just got it all over my room. Setting powder. And again, it's with an It Cosmetics like fluffy brush. I really like their brushes. And then I put on some bronzer. And I use NYX Matte Bronzer. This is my favorite. Once I find something I like, I don't really change it. And I think this brush is from Sephora and I'm pretty sure it's for powder, but I use it for my bronzer because I'm a freaking rebel. And then I take Warm Soul. How do you beauty guru in the morning on when you're half asleep? I look so scary in the morning, guys. It's like really terrifying. All right, next I do my brows. This is something new I've started using. Tinted brow mascara stuff. So I just run that through. And after that, Tarte Cosmetics Brow Pencil. It's really thin. Fill in the spaces. You know I have eyebrows on. Ooh, look at the bags on my eyes, gross. Curl my eyelashes, and then I put a little It Cosmetics uh, waterproof gel eyeliner on. Oh, now we put on a little bit of mascara. Ah, uh, they're real. Lips, I'm using this weird lip liner from L'Oreal. I don't know what color it is. My whole life consists of me wearing lipstick very sloppily and lip liner. <laughs> Makes me feel like a good person. And this is like this new lipstick from Tarte Cosmetics. It's super cool, it's like a lipstick and a lip gloss. And this color is Sass. Oh. There you go, that's what I look like after I put on makeup in the morning. What a riveting vlog. How do you look like that without makeup on, butthole? Now what I need to figure out what to wear. We just finished working with Chris over here. Yes, I'm here. I'm here in Vancouver. Chris the Cubes. The Cubes. He's in the Cubes. He's got a case of the Cubes. We are editing episode three today, which it's getting to a good place. It's at a good place. It's at a good place. I know it is, but it's confidence. like I know it's hard because like I'm such a perfectionist, and I want these episodes to be like the absolute most amazingly best they possibly can be. And so until they get to that point, I get really imp impatient. And then we always get them there. Like when I first got episode one, I was like, I don't know, I don't know about this show and then now I'm like obsessed with it and I can't wait for you guys to see episode it. Episode one is so good guys. Episode two is so good too. And episode three is gonna be episode great. Episode three is, is getting there I, so. Episode three is so close to being like the best episode. Anyway, um, it's nice to have a walking partner because I've been walking home every day and now I get to walk home with my brother which is fun. I pretend like it's for her protection but really it's not. She's protecting me. Yeah, I'm protecting him. I've been fine. I've been walking home by myself every day. I know. So. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. I was talking about that with Josh the other day because he was like, I, you can't walk anywhere by yourself. You're a girl. And I was like, so? You're a boy? He was, I was like, that shouldn't be a thing. It shouldn't be like, a girl shouldn't walk alone, but a boy can. And I get what he was saying. Like, girls are more susceptible to like scary things or whatever, I guess. Like, But I could punch a boy in the wiener if I needed to. I could be like, like that. Was that threatening? <laughs> That's a really tall guy you were fighting. <laughs> Just really tall. Just right in the wiener. <laughs> right in the wiener. <laughs> Alright.
right, so Christopher and I are now at a restaurant. It was super good. Where are we? So Milestones Grill and Bar something is really good. And well, everywhere in Canada, the food is like amazing. I haven't had one bad meal since I've been in Canada. I'm drinking a beer, which is so not me, but I'm drinking a Canadian beer. Pretty good. And do I still look like a toe today? Toe or potato? What do you guys think? Mm, I love that beer all up on my face. Wow, y'all. Uh, I am home from dinner. It is 10.30 at night. Ah, my phone. It's my mama. So we just uh, got some coffee and uh, we're gonna drink it at 10.30 at night. Uh, but yeah, this has been really like a crazy experience uh, editing the Netflix show because it's like, I don't know, it's so much different. Like this whole process has been so crazy because first I found out about the show and started developing the show and I wasn't allowed to talk about it at all. Um, it was a complete secret. We started writing the show and for months it was like in a writer's room with a bunch of writers every single day. Um, and that was really fun to create the world, come like let this world come to life that I've always dreamt of in my head and like put it on paper was really exciting. And then casting the show was such a bizarre experience. Then to filming the show, which was, insane and the best two months of my entire life and I just want to relive it every day forever um, and now the editing which is really bizarre because like I'm so used to production where we're hanging out with people every single day on set and now it's like alone in an editing room with a producer or two and um, just watching scenes over and over and over and over again it's a lot of work it's really really tedious and it's really lonely is not the right word it, it's like I don't know what the word is but it's like by the end of the day, you just want to run out of the office and scream just because you've just been cooped up all day and um, watching the same thing on repeat all day. Um, but it's exciting. It's exciting to watch it all come together and um, it makes me excited for you guys to see it and for it to be finished finally. But I will say that my favorite part of the whole process for sure is filming the show and producing it. Like being on set and producing and being on set and and acting is the most fun for sure. Anyway, I didn't film too much fun stuff for you guys. I apologize. La, la, la. My brain is gonna explode soon. But I'm enjoying doing these vlogs, so I hope you guys like it. <laughs>